it's nerve wracking for sure. Um, you have all this adrenaline and all these uh, mixed butterflies in your stomach, just saying like you got to get out there and you got to play other girls that love the sport. So it's kind of hard because you don't know if they're better than you or they're not. You don't know what they can bring to the table. So it's really hard and nervous. I get butterflies and nervous because like you're out there to win and to like support your team and school. So I reckon I get nervous. But um, as you play, you kind of lose like lose the nervousness and just get out there and do your thing. I didn't know about girls rugby back in the days because it wasn't portrayed on the media as often. They wouldn't play it on TV as much as they would boys. So I think the media had a huge impact on girls rugby as well because I look up to some of the girls' sevens games and all that stuff and I just watch them, watch the highlights over and over and just try and pick up new things as they go. Yeah, now that the media is getting on to the girls' rugby, it's been a very big up. I believe rugby could get somewhere in the future for girls. I reckon there's girls out there who are slowly seeing rugby as a sport and are becoming committed to play. I see girls rugby up there. Where they are now, high up nationals, I see them versus in other countries. I see them as where boys are standing right now. I see them um, being on television more often and I feel like I'll see myself in that position as well. What made me interested was the fact that my sister had asked me to play and I was like, new to it so I didn't really, I wasn't fond of rugby so I was like, oh. but do you just keep nagging me so I was like, yeah, I'll play. We're actually triplets. I was born first, then Eddie, the one who got us into rugby, then him, the youngest. I am definitely the captain for 2015. It's kind of hard because you got to push them and the only way that you're going to push them is telling them what they're not good at and having to say that to them repeatedly is kind of sad but in the end it's for their only, for their best. My sister Lydia, she was a great forward, she would be able to tackle and being able to get to the racks on time. My sister Eddie, which is now moved to Australia, she was an awesome first five, being able to construct the back line, being able to control the pressure she had in order to construct the back line and tell them their roles. Um, also me being first five, taking over my sister's position is actually really amazing for me. And my sister Tam, her being a fullback and having all that pressure on her being the last man of defence for our team is actually Really amazing how she just gets the ball and brings it back down. Even if you don't know how to play or you don't really want to play, get out of your comfort zone and actually go and have a try. There's nothing wrong with failing. Everyone fails at something in life. If you just give it a try and do it your best, you'll get somewhere in life. Girls rugby is a huge opportunity for people. If you start young, the better. I recommend all the girls to play rugby. It is an awesome sport. You, you won't know how it is until you do it. It's better to try and fail at something than just fail. Three cheers, three cheers. What? Oh, yeah. Three cheers. Three cheers. Awesome.